Welcome back to J Trading. I am Jupi. I'm back with another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to analyze forex uh, uh, currencies. So in today's video, I will show you some uh, good strategy how you can trade forex currencies. Actually, the thing you need to know is if you know how to trade forex currencies, you can trade any asset. You can trade any uh, uh, type of charts you can trade boom and crash you can trade volatility you can trade cryptocurrencies you can even trade stock market so uh, when i say i'm going to analyze forex market you don't need to uh, stop watching this video if you are trading boom and crash because the knowledge that you get from these videos will help you to uh, analyze the other type of markets so let's dive right into today's video i'm going to show you how you can take sniper entries especially sniper entries in forex market uh, the thing is in forex market things are very uh, accurate uh, there is not much of manipulation as i told you you cannot be cornered in forex market because the market is very huge there is five trillion dollars coming in and out of this market every day so uh, if you are trading in forex market there is no way that the market is getting manipulated unless there is some fundamental uh, uh, new start affects the market so let's start from euro usd here we have one hour chart of euro usd always start from higher time frame like daily or weekly but for the purpose of this video i'm going to show you uh, starting from one hour time frame so the first thing you need to do is always uh, spot if the market is training upward or downward so here on this chart the market is stable it's consolidating at the bottom so uh, i want to start from this level here uh, if you see here we have a uh, rejection we have a rejection we have a rejection this uh, shows that the market is trying to form a uh, uh, so as you can see here at this level the market has high at this level you can take this as a structural high then after forming this high market has uh, gone down forming another lower high so uh, uh, at the same manner it has formed the third low that is lower high so you can take this copy it paste it here so you can rename this one as lower high and we can copy this one here so whenever the market is creating this type of pattern it is telling us something so here it has high then lower high the third one lower high that is an indication of the market training downward so you need to put a trend line there connect those uh, points together like this so this indicates that the market is training downward after identifying the trend of the market the first thing as i've told you identify the trend of the market so the first thing we did here is we have identified that the market is trending downward forming lower high so after finding this the second step for an entry is looking for a confirmation looking for a signal for you to buy because since the market is down uh, training downward we are waiting for the market to break out of this trend line if you want to scalp, actually you can look for a sale opportunity. But here we are waiting, uh, here we are looking for a, a, a sniper entry. So what we have to do is wait for the market to, to break out of this trend line. That will be another signal for you to, to take a buy signal, buy a, a position. But you're not going to take buy entry or buy position immediately when the market breaks out of this trend line there will be another confirmations there will be another signals here i'm going to uh, discuss after a few seconds so if you see here uh we have a week here i hope you can see a week here this week it is a huge week which got rejected from the trend line that trend line since it has been formed uh uh since it has been confirmed three times on the first high on the lower high the second one and on the third lower high it has been confirmed so this week it is formed because of the trend line the sailors stepped in and pushed the market downward so after the sailors uh, pushed the market down the buyers came in the boys came in and pushed the market out of the trend line with a huge momentum voila 
that's the second indication for you to look for a buy opportunity first what we said uh we, we have a trend line which is pushing the market below it below that trend line structure the market is playing then bulls came in and pushed the market out of the trend line with a huge momentum so that is another confirmation for you to wait for a buy opportunity first the market is playing below trend line second it broke out of this uh, trend line with a huge momentum so now we wait for a uh, uh, market to give us a good buy entry or a sniper entry so to do that what you need to do is spot lows structural lows or weeks in the uh, uh, above level in in the lower level so the first thing you need to do is spot structural low so structural low for this is since our structure is this area uh, ignore this part here on the left take this structure so for this structure the lowest part is this one so we can draw support over there that will be a, a demand area for us then you can also draw a supply areas or resistance areas by zooming in here we have we have many weeks but try to take a week which will be which will be uh, important for you to take a sniper entry so the entry will be uh, exactly at this train line area so we have to take the the, the resistance here maybe i'll take this one i'll take this one like this so uh, i took this one because we have market getting rejected from this level we have multiple weeks here we have uh this uh the week we have been talking about which got rejected from the the, the train line it is also again got rejected from that uh, resistance line that we drew so again we have another week which got rejected from this exact area so next what you do is wait for the market to come back down because since uh the market broke out of this trend line with a huge momentum you're not going to take a buy uh, uh, over there because there is no uh, no signal for you no indication for you to take a buy entry over there so what you need to do is wait for the market to come back down so while you are waiting what the market did is the bears stepped in and pushed the price way back down to this support area you see you're not going to take any trade here because you're waiting for the buy uh, uh, entry right while you are waiting for a buy entry unfortunately the the bears came in and pushed the market way back down to this level so the level that you drew from the structural low it has supported the market let me show you let's zoom in let's zoom in a little bit here and let's see so when you zoom in you see huge week over here this week it got rejected from the exact support area that we drew from our structural law so that structural law it acted as a support it formed a week so one thing i want to tell you about forex trading is in forex trading things are very accurate if you see huge weeks if you see any type of week which is getting rejected from support or resistance that is a signal for you that is a signal for you always it's not like a booming crash or uh, cryptocurrencies in forex candlesticks have meanings charts uh, actually charts have meaning in cryptocurrency and booming crash also but especially the candlesticks there are shooting star there are hammer patterns there is doji pattern there are a lot of candlestick patterns not charts candlesticks so these candlesticks with huge weak from either support or resistance they are telling you something so we got a huge uh, rejection or weak from this support area so after after this rejection the meaning of this rejection is actually buyers or bulls are stepping in again and pushing the market uh, from this support area so still our buy entry is legit we are waiting for uh, a buy entry right so what you can do next is since this uh thing is cute little trend it's training downward a little bit so you can draw a lower trend like this a trend line which is training downward 
now we are we are near to our entry we are approaching to the entry level uh, another thing in forex market is you need patience you cannot just take like five six trades per day you may take only two or three three trades per week that might be enough for you because you have to wait days for an entry so now we got this trend line and we got rejection from here what you need to do is the market to for the market to break out of this trend line and you can take a buy opportunity there you can take a buy position over there so now let's zoom in here so the market broke out of this trend line here if you see here we have a green candle which broke out of this trend line after breaking out of this trend line this red or the the, the black candle with a huge wick from the trend it, it tried to break down or below this trend line but the trend line pushed it up or the buyers pushed the price up from the trend line that indicates the buyers are still powerful so you can take a so you can take a buy entry over there exactly on this candlestick after this candlestick closes in one hour time frame with a huge week on this trend line you take a buy uh, entry over there actually it's not only a trend line it got rejected from this this support area that we drew actually this uh support area it is a week from this part this part this part all this area the market has been reacting from this line again it it got rejected from this uh, uh support area also so you can take that as another signal for you another confirmation so we have a strong signal for us to take a buy entry so we take a buy entry over there and our stop loss will be just below this support area let me remove this bunch of objects and let me put a clean one so we can put a support line like this and we can put our stop loss just below this line so put your stop loss just below that support area wait for the market to go up so what about the tp tp will be uh uh, uh you can look for uh, this week here from the previous level which got rejected from this trend line you can take profit exactly at that level so uh, at this level the market went back up to this week and got rejected so since your tp is over there you take your profit you go out of the market then you wait for another opportunity so you wait for the market to to give you another structure to buy so what you do next is always spot supply and demand areas always spot uh, uh resistance in the support areas so the next thing we do is we took our tp here we have a high structural high here you can put a line over there which acts as a resistance so this area is a resistance over here so you draw this resistance like this right so you wait for the market now the bulls are pushing up we know that the market is training upward because already we got many confirmations that the bulls are in play the bulls are in power so now the market came up to this area in the first one it got rejected the second one it broke out of this trend line with a huge momentum then it went up that's another indication for you to look for a buy opportunity but you're not gonna take a, a trade over there because you don't know i mean you need another confirmation just a single sig signal is not enough for you maybe two or three signals so the the second one is the market broke out it came back down with this huge momentum with this huge week market is playing above this support area this area was a resistance back here but at this level it's acting as a support it is supporting the market it is supporting the price to bounce up so the the price is bouncing up multiple times this indicates still bulls are in play bulls are trying to push the market apart so what you need to do is wait for the market to give you a candlestick pattern which gets rejected from this support area so as you can see here we have a black candlestick with a huge wick so this uh wick it got rejected from this support area so since this uh uh, uh candlestick is a pattern that indicates market is about to to go up or uh, bulls are still in play so you can put a buy a buy position over there 
exactly after this candlestick when that candlestick uh, closes you put a buy position there so next is a stop loss after taking a, 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 a trade what you need to do is where you need to put your stop loss then next tp so the first one is stop loss uh, for stop loss we go back to this area or maybe this area and we can put a line over there connecting those two points together so this this area is uh, 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 an important area that where the price got rejected multiple multiple times so we can put our stop loss just below this area like this so put your stop loss just below that support area wait for the market to go up to your tp so since we have no uh, previous charts here what you need to do for tp is calculate your stop loss first you got your stop loss right so your stop loss is as you can see on the screen it's 0.18 percent that's almost 0.2 percent so if your stop loss is 0.2 percent down your tp should be at least two times so at least go for 0.4 percent that is 0.3 so if we push this one a little bit up like this we will get 0.4 percent tp that would be one ratio to risk reward uh, ratio management for you i mean you are risking one part of your portfolio to get two uh two times the investment that you're putting in so this is how you uh, uh, trade forex we took two uh positions here the first one is this one market has confirmed that it's going up after this tp1 we got the second entry in both entries remember the the sniper entry or the the signal for us to take positions was uh, candlestick which is getting rejected from either support or trend line so uh, in the next videos I'm going to analyze another part of this chart so the part two of this analysis will be posted in the coming days see you next time